So let's talk about maximizing your speed of cut in sheet cam. So here we have a presidential seal and we have a bunch of pierces that are going to happen and we, we just want to be able to cut this thing out as fast as possible. Um, so there's a couple things we can do. The first thing we want to do is, is possibly look at the tool. So let's say this thing's going to be out of um, quarter inch steel which is probably pretty thick for what this is. Let's, let's go back up. Let's, let's pick some, uh, some 12 gauge, 45 amp, standard 45. So if we look at the tool, you get, if you click on it, there's a bunch of options here. I mean, it's just, it, it looks endless, but they all really do have a relative meaning, except when we get down here, uh, when we have preset current and preset air pressure. We're not using those options to control the plasma cutter for various reasons. But when we get to um, this area here, pause at the end of the cut, we want to make sure that's zero. We don't need the pause at the end of the cut. We're not going to be cutting anything thick. There's no stainless. There's just a lot of things that, that, that we don't need to do on that. And we might want to drop this um, pier site down a little bit. So maybe I want to go to uh, 95 thousandths and... Um, so that's our 45 amp 12 gauge tool, okay? And then let's do a tool, well, let's, let's look at our options for our post processor. So if we go up here to options, we go to machine, we go to um, post processor. If we look at our set custom post options, we have, um, you may not have a switch offset in your options, but our reference distance. The reference distance is the amount of inches cut before we touch off again. So if we set that distance to 20, it'll cut 20 inches of cut. And if it goes over that, the next time it goes to pierce, it will touch off. The reason why we want a little bit of a higher number with art is that with a waterbed, we get some nice stability with the material. And when we have a higher ref distance, we're actually going, we're running over, and we're piercing right away without having to um, touch off on every pierce. That it's just uh, it wastes a heck of a lot of time when you're doing art. So let's hit OK there. And now let's look at another option here for speeding up the process. So we're going to go to Options, Job Options. Cool. Now we have um, our material job options here. Now, if you look at our rapid clearance and our plunge safety, we're playing it safe here. Our rapid clearance at 0.9 gives us almost a full inch of Z clearance as we travel across the table. It doesn't need to be that high. This is a little piece of art. So maybe we want to make this uh, 0.3. Maybe we want to make this number 0.2. And what this is going to do is it's going to jump over to that spot really fast without raising the head way high up in the air. Remember to change this back to 0.9 and at least 0.3 in your plunge safety clearance. But this is a good way to, to speed up things in, in the in when you're cutting art. It's just a really nice feature to be able to adjust these items. It makes this interface with sheet cam uh, very, very fast. So let's hit OK. And let's do an operation to this. Plasma cut. Yeah, we'll still pick at the outside offset. So it'll cut the outside and the inside of the inside. Let's pick a layer. Let's pick our scroll up to our 45 amp 12 gauge tool. Um, and maybe we want to bring down our overcut a little bit. We'll do a perpendicular lead in of maybe 40 thousandths. And uh, let's see how it works. Okay. Some features were too small to cut. If you look in here, though, it's going to do a good job. And that's it. That's how you speed up the process.